let's look at this uh, unit circle and prove some simple results uh, of trigonometry. So this is a unit circle, so the radius is 1. So let's put some numbers here. So the center is 0, 0. So this is the center, 0, 0. And radius of 1. So this is radius 1. And say this is the angle theta. So if this angle is theta, if you go clockwise, this is going to be minus theta. In other words, if you're going up, it is positive. If you're going down, it is negative from the positive arm of the x-axis. This coordinate, so let me use a different color. This coordinate, the coordinate of this point is 1, 0. This is 0, 1. This coordinate is... Uh, this coordinate is uh, 0, sorry, negative 1, comma 0, negative 1, comma 0. This coordinate is 0, comma negative 1. So in terms of degrees, this is, at this point, it is 0 degrees. At this point, it is 0 degrees. This is 90 degrees. The particle has moved 90. This is 180 this is 270 and 360 and 360 so 0 and 360 are the same okay so if at this angle if at this point say the this is a point particle p comma x comma y in terms of degree it has moved theta degrees at this point the coordinate so let's say this is p1 and say this is P2. So using symmetry, if this the coordinate of P1 is x comma y, I hope you understand this is let me use a different color. This is x, this is x, and this is y. So if this is x using symmetry, this is going to be negative x. And if this is y, this is negative y. Okay, so P2 has a coordinate of negative x comma y. Negative x comma y. This point is P3. And the coordinate is negative x comma negative y. We're going to use this in a neat way later on. So this is just building. And this is P4. Has a coordinate of x comma x comma negative y okay at this point at this point how many degrees so let me use a different color here at this point it is theta at this point let me use black at p2 the degrees it has moved is this is 180 and using symmetry this angle at p2 it is 180 minus theta at P3, it is because this angle is theta. This angle is theta. And this angle is also theta. Okay? So this at P3, it has moved 180 plus theta. And at this, at P4, it has moved 360 minus theta. Okay, so if you understand this, okay, now, one more thing, if this is theta, this angle, how much is this angle? Because this is a right angle. This angle is complementary of this, so this is going to be 90 minus theta. Okay, so let's start proving now results. So, sine theta, so let's start with sine theta. Sine theta, or oh, let's start with cos theta. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent is x and hypotenuse is 1 so cos theta is x basically and sine theta if you look at we're talking about this angle we're talking about this triangle p okay let me name it we're talking about triangle p1 o so this is center o m so let me call this point m so let me write in triangle in 
triangle P1 OM sine theta is it sorry cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse so basically what we are saying is this is x and this is y it's all mixed up now so I can say sine theta cos theta is x and sine theta is y okay so in other words when a particle has moved theta degrees in a unit circle the x coordinate is cos theta and y coordinate is sine theta okay so uh, okay so what can we do now so what is cos okay so what is sine 1 sine 90 minus theta sine 90 minus theta for sine 90 minus theta this is the opposite and this is adjacent so that is x and what is cos 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta for 90 minus theta in the same triangle the adjacent is y so that is y so we have proved a very sim interesting result cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta okay and sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta okay so what can we prove next so this is an important result a sine and cos are complementary of each other of course is a complementary of sine this is what we have proved okay so what would be so when we say cos theta is x that means in other words when the angle has moved theta degrees the x coordinate is going to be x and when the angle has moved theta degrees the y coordinate is the y coordinate is y so using the same logic can we say what is what is uh, cos 90 minus theta sorry cos 180 minus theta cos 180 minus theta is the x coordinate when the particle has moved 180 minus theta degrees that means you're talking about the point p2 at p2 the particle has moved 180 minus theta degrees so what's the x coordinate that is negative x and what is x x is cos theta so we have proved a very in interesting result cos 180 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta or using symmetry you can understand cos theta is x and if it this angle is 180 minus theta at p2 the particle has moved 180 degrees and x coordinate is negative x and what is x x is cos theta so let me give you an example what does this mean this example means cos 180 minus 30 so theta is 30 is equal to minus cos 30 that's what we have proved okay so what does this mean cos of 150 is equal to minus cos 30 okay so so cos 30 I hope you know cos 30 is uh, cos 30 is root 3 over 2 so this is minus root 3 over 2 so let me show this which is on your calculator if this will be minus 0 0.86 okay in 2 dp okay so let me show you this so if you go cos 150 is minus 0 0.87 in 2 dp or 866 in 3 dp and minus cos sorry let me do it again cos 150 and uh, that is minus 0 0.86 cancel minus cos 30 will be the same answers okay so this on minus 0 0.866 okay so what is sine 180 minus 30 so you have to find the y coordinate when the particle has moved 180 minus theta degrees 
then the particle has moved 180 minus theta degrees the y coordinate is y okay and what is y y is sine theta so to give an example here you can say sine of 150 which is same I'm taking theta as 30 would be equal to sine 30 so let's show that which is sine 30 we know is half okay so let's let me show you that sine 150 is 0.5 or half and uh, sine 30 is also half okay so let's prove few more results when you come to p3 so let's talk about part at p3 you have mode 180 plus theta okay i have made a mistake here this is 180 plus theta this is at p2 it has moved 180 minus theta at p3 it has moved 180 plus theta so i can say cross uh, let me use a different color or this color cross cross 180 plus theta is you have to just look at the coordinate at p3 x coordinate which is also minus x okay so let me scroll this to this side so this is equal to be minus cos theta so we can use the same or uh, let's say theta is let's make theta is 30 or let's say theta is 60 yeah so you can say cos of 240 is equal to minus cos of 60 degrees okay we'll do this together so sine 180 minus 30 sorry 180 plus theta is going to be again minus so it is minus sine theta okay so here if you take if you say if you take theta is 60 so you can say sine 240 180 plus 60 is 40 is equal to minus sine of 60 okay so let's do it first let's do cos 240 240 is minus 0 0.5 and if you go minus cos 60 that will also be minus 0 0.5 sine 60 is root 3 over 2 so this will be again z minus 0 0.866 so if you go sine of 240 it would be minus 0 0.866 and if you go minus sine 60 that will be the same result okay so in, in this case it is minus 0 0.5 and here it is minus 0 0.866 okay and finally let's finish off with p4 at p4 and let's say the theta is going to be say 10 degrees so let's uh, use a different angle so what can we say cos cos at p4 it has moved 360 minus theta so this is 360 minus theta what is the uh, what is the x coordinate the x coordinate is x okay and what is x x is cos theta and sine 360 minus theta what's the y coordinate the y coordinate is negative y so that's going to be negative sine of theta so to explain with an example you can say cos of theta I'm taking as 10, 10 degrees so that is cos 350 should be equal to cos 10 and sine 350 sine 350 should be equal to minus sine 10 okay so let's show that cos 350 is minus 0 0.98 and cos 10 is also 0 0.9848 okay and let's do sine 350 
is minus 0 0.1736 and minus now you have to put minus sine 10 okay and sine taking again to sine 350 would be the same number.